Hello and welcome to today's episode of Ranked. This week, we're talking cats. No, not those cats. I went through all the movies released from Walt Disney Animation Studios and picked out all my favorite felines. So, what is the criteria of being a top 10 Disney cat? Honestly, I don't really know. It ended up being a mix of the cat's appearance, behavior, role in their film, and just general iconicness. But there's really no rhyme or reason to this, I mostly went with my gut. So which kitties made the cut? Let's get into it. I have three honorable mentions before we officially begin. First is Oliver from Oliver and Company. He makes a strong case, seeing as he's the main character of his movie and he's cute, but unfortunately I find him a little bland in comparison to the other contenders here. Second is Felicia from The Great Mouse Detective. Yes, she's a villain, but she is such a legend. It's hilarious that Radigan, a rat, has a pet cat who is like 20 times his size. Her design is great, and she brings strong entertainment value to her movie. Third is Snowball. No explanation needed. Okay, now let's get into the list proper. This is my top 10 Disney cats. Number 10. Rufus is an elderly cat who lives at Morningside Orphanage. The main reason he's here is that he's a great friend to Penny during some of the darkest times in her life. He's a wise, comforting presence and brings a bit of light to a rather dreary movie. I love that he has glasses and a mustache, and it's interesting that he's named Rufus since that's typically a dog name. I'm glad to know that he got adopted alongside Penny at the end of the movie. Number 9 Mittens is a fun character. She's quite pessimistic and grounded in reality, a good contrast to Bolt's fantasies. The characters play off of each other so well and I really enjoy seeing Mittens soften up throughout her journey with Bolt. She teaches him how to be a normal dog and he teaches her about the importance of love and connection. Her arc is well done and I like watching her resourceful sassy personality. Similar to Rufus, Mittens gets adopted at the end of her movie and by a girl named Penny no less. Number 8 You can't talk Disney cats without bringing up the Aristocats, and Duchess is the most Aristocatty of them all. The main thing I love about her is her elegance. It comes through in her lovely design as well as her voice, performed wonderfully by Eva Gabor. I love the compassion and kindness that Duchess shows towards others, as well as her loyalty to Madame Bonfamy. Number 7 Would you look at that, it's another Aristocat. Although this cat doesn't start out that way. O'Malley is an alley cat who lives on his own and likes his freedom, but after he meets Duchess, there's no turning back for him. I like his adventurous side, but I also enjoy watching him warm up to the idea of having a family. Initially, he just likes Duchess and wishes she didn't come along with three kittens, but as the movie goes on, he truly comes to care for the entire family. He ends up getting adopted into the family at the end, and I love his green bow tie look in particular. Number 6 You don't have to be a nice cat to make this list. Lucifer certainly lives up to his name. He's the absolute worst, but he's such a big part of the Cinderella movie and he brings quite a bit of entertainment and humor. I really like his design, and he's definitely one of the more iconic members of the Disney cat family. Number 5 Speaking of iconic Disney cats, I think this guy takes the cake. The Cheshire Cat has really transcended from Alice in Wonderland to being a Disney icon in general. He has a distinct, notable design with his purple pink stripes, and his smile is unforgettable. Sterling Holloway gives a memorable voice performance for the character. My favorite thing about the Cheshire Cat is his ambiguity. You can't really tell if he's a villain to Alice or not. Does he want to help her or cause her trouble? It's all part of the mystery of Wonderland. Number 4 This is the only cat on the list that is anthropomorphic. He's the sidekick to Honest John in the movie, and together, they make up one of three villainous encounters that Pinocchio has. I'm not sure why Honest John and Gideon are anthropomorphic animals in a world of humans, but I think we just shouldn't question it. The reason I love Gideon is his goofiness. He's a bit like Dopey since he doesn't speak, 
and he reminds me of Kronk in another way, since it seems that he's innocent and harmless but blindly follows the leadership of a villain. I also really like his design. My favorite moment is when he's taking notes on Honest John's assessment of Pinocchio. Oh, this makes it perfectly clear. Number 3 You might be saying, Who? Ivan is one of the characters in the short Peter and the Wolf in the package film Make My Music. Ivan has a rough start in the short as he tries to attack the birds Sasha and Sonia, but after a scolding from Peter, he seems to smarten up. Ivan sticks by Peter the entire time they are fearing from the wolf, and he's even brave enough to be lowered from the tree to trap the wolf and save Sasha's life. I think he has a mischievous, cute design, and he's a fun character overall. You can't go wrong with a classic orange cat. Number 2 This character is not only the most underrated Disney cat, but he's an underrated character in general. When the puppies get kidnapped by Horace and Jasper, Tibbs does all he can to help save them. He has no responsibility to these dogs, and yet he's putting his life on the line for them. He even shields them behind himself when they get caught like a protective parent. I just really appreciate his role in the movie and think he deserves some credit for his courage and selflessness. It's also funny that he's a sergeant. Not sure how that happened. And now for my top Disney cat of them all. Long live the king. Ah! Number one. It really couldn't be any other way. The first ever Disney cat also happens to be my absolute favorite. Figaro is the best. He's got a grumpy side and a great spunk to him, but he also has a big heart underneath it all. He pretends not to like Cleo and Pinocchio, but it becomes quite apparent that he loves them. And his affection for Geppetto is something he doesn't even really try to hide. His design is immaculate, being modeled after Tuxedo Cat, and I just think he's so cute, especially when he's mad. Apparently Walt was a big fan of him as well. Can't blame him. I've loved Figaro since I was a kid, and there's just no other way another cat could beat him out for first place on this list. And with that, we'll wrap it up. Who's your favorite Disney cat? There are quite a few options, so let me know your choice in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting like and subscribe. There will be more videos like this coming soon. If you want to see more ranked episodes along with Disney trivia and video essays, head over to the Trove to check them out, or you can find the links in the description down below. Thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.